speech received at least a dozen standing ovations. There was also one for this man, a 98-year-old Ukrainian-Canadian who fought for Ukrainian independence against the Russians during the Second World War. Zelensky's speech received at least a dozen standing ovations. There was also one for this. Just moments ago, Customs and Border Protection cut a hole through the concertina wire that has been stretched by Texas DPS along the border there to allow migrants to come through. It was initially a group of about 60 to 70 people. It swelled to some 300 very, very quickly. Uh, some women and children who were sort of in the middle of the river were picked up um, by, I guess it would be Texas DPS, because they're running the airboats there up and down the river and uh, taken out of the water and, and to safer ground there. But as you can see, as we have watched for the last couple of weeks, the illegal migration across the river into the United States continues uh, with this uh, border crossing in Eagle Pass, seeing thousands of people. And then over the weekend, we set what we believe is a new record of 11,000 people crossing into the United States in a single day. We'll keep an eye on this for you. In the meantime, in Eagle Pass, Texas, where just moments ago, Customs and Border Protection cut a hole through the concertina wire that has been stretched by Texas DPS along the border there to